Hey guys, Will here with Into Mobile. We are taking a quick little look up there. It turned off. This is the Google Nexus S made by Samsung. Okay, so we just hardware did an unboxing and a quick little hardware tour of this guy. Uh, went over basically the 4 inch screen there, the front facing camera, the uh, Super AMOLED, 4 inch Super AMOLED display, I should say, the, uh, the volume control rocker on the left, the power button on the right side, with the uh, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on the bottom located next to the micro USB port, and the 5 megapixel camera with the with the single LED flash, and of course GPS, Wi-Fi B on the BGN, and um, compatible with T-Mobile's 3G network, but um, also unlocked, so it works with AT&T. But you know that's on oh, the capacitive touch buttons down here, right? Um, and the cool way that it turns off. Look at that, like an old school TV, right? Um, so anyway, that's that's a quick little hardware overview. What we want to do now is go through the software of this guy. And what you'll notice as I pan through here and from straight up from the start screen to panning left and right through the different home screen panes, you'll notice that this is stock Android. This is not a skinned version of Android like you have with other Samsung, say, Galaxy S devices, which this is very this is basically based on. The Nexus S is a is is like a Galaxy S in in with uh, gingerbread on it and stock Android. Right, you don't have any skins, you don't have any customizations, everything is stock. And what you'll notice is one of the first things you'll notice is notice that um, the notification bar up there is no longer a, a gray white, but really a, just a black notification bar. Actually, depending on your background, it's going to look like it's part of the home screen there, right? You you don't all you see are the icons, and also notice that the icons for reception are green, and you get the um, the updated battery notif uh, battery indicator right there and uh, also the updated uh, uh, message indicator you pull down on the screen and you, you get everything you know just as just as you did before the font is a little different the color schemes are slightly different but and also the phone and uh, browser here now have a green tinge to them that's slightly different of course you still have the live wallpapers and everything in the background right so if I hold down on that and I go to wallpapers I can select from wallpapers my pictures in the gallery that I took to make my um, set those as wallpapers or live wallpapers and you get all the same wallpapers and actually some more um, cool wallpapers. Let's see, like, uh, uh, well, I haven't ever seen microbes. Let's see that. Oh, okay. So what What are live wallpapers, of course? Your wallpaper moves in the background. does burn some battery, but hey, you know, it is, uh, it's, a, it's a pretty cool feature. Um, my favorite live wallpaper actually is maps because you can actually see the traffic information in the background. Oh, and notice that um, you can actually, uh, you used to be able to zoom, I don't know. I guess that doesn't work anymore. Yeah, you used to be able to zoom in on the live wallpaper, but anyway. Yeah, that's 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 that. Um, and let's get rid of that actually. Uh, no live wallpaper, let's do a static wallpaper here. Yeah, that's a good one. Okay, anyway, so going on, going through, on the left side, what you'll notice is this, uh, it comes preloaded with this YouTube widget up here. Um, it's actually, it shows you all the new, uh, the popular videos, it scrolls through the popular videos on YouTube, and when you hit that, it takes you to the video itself pretty fast. And to go, let's shut them up real quick, damn it. Um, so to go full screen, I can either double tap and it goes full screen, or I can just rotate and it'll go full screen, just like so. Whoa, <laughs> that was actually kind of crazy. Let's uh, let's actually go out of there. That was an interesting video. So that's uh, YouTube, the YouTube widget, and what one of the new widgets that we have are U um, uh, Google Places. This is Google Places right here. I can rate these different places, you know, that are near me. And, you know, rate by hitting the star there. And I can look at all the uh, places near me that I can, you know, that if I, if I, for instance, want to rate Holy Grill, which is a burger place near me, I've actually already rated Holy Grill. But that's, that's, that's weird. Um, I guess it hasn't rated, it didn't keep my rating for some reason. The counter down here is how many people have rated. Oh, there we go. And there's your rating. And if you tap here, it'll go right into maps and show you where Holy Grill is on the map. So that's kind of cool, right? Okay, and so what else is new? Oh, okay, and since this is, you know, and, um, notice also the 
3G indicator is also in green there. Um, all, what, what else is new is when you're at the, uh, at, for instance, you're in uh, the mail application, application. Um, you can scroll through your mail, right? But when you reach the top, notice up here the color change that you're about to see uh, right here on this upper bar. You get that little flash of orange. You see that? That little flash of orange that shows you you're at the top? I don't know what that is, if that's orange or yellow. Um, but yeah, every time you hit you hit a hard stop, it comes up against that orange telling you you are at the end right there. I've got some new mail. We're not going to bother with that right now. But that's uh, one of the slight little uh, UI changes. And Gingerbread seems to be all about UI change, uh, slight little UI tweaks, right? Um, you have, in, in the market, you also have T-Mobile's Android market. So that's cool. T-Mobile's top picks for Android market. Uh, I mean, Android apps. But also... Your da uh, it's got a slightly updated download manager. It's not eh, for the most part it's the same, but this upgrade box seems to have uh, seems to look a little different. I could be wrong about that, but it does look like it's a little updated, and slightly tweaked. Um, the phone, the dialer in Gingerbread is much the same. It's eh, it's mostly the same. These are minor UI tweaks, and Gingerbread is not the the major UI overall that we expected. But notice the uh, the dialer is slightly updated. You get. Uh, everything in green right there and um, little vibration on every press and the buttons are seem to be separated a little better the, the numbers um, call log contacts favorites right um, again everything's the same here it, it's just they're just minor for the browser uh, everything seems the same I, I can't I don't notice any differences in the browser here for from gingerbread uh, from Froyo to Gingerbread, that is. One one cool thing is the the keyboard has been updated. So the stock Android keyboard here is only shows pretty much letters in stock. If you want symbols, you can either switch between symbols and numbers and uh, alpha. Just notice there. that the slash bar here has a couple dots, the ellipses right after it, and so does the or, period. So you see the slash button. If you hold down the slash button, you get the option to do the slash, or you get settings right there. So you have your keyboard settings right, built right into the keyboard. It's part of the slash. But also, if you're entering stuff and you don't need something other than a period, you just hold down on the period and you can use all these. So the quick access, and to, to insert a comma, the quickest way to do a comma is you could also go to the symbols and then you know select comma from here, which is this button right there, right? That's a comma. But why do that? If you're typing really fast, you know, you're doing... Eh, nah, 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 whatever, and you want to put a comma in, you hold down the period button, wait till it brings up, it'll vibrate to let you know that it's got the secondary uh, uh, symbol menu, just wait till it brings that up, let it go, and it'll put the period in there. So that's uh, that's an update for Gingerbread right there as well. And also, I want to show you uh, downloads. There's a new download manager. We don't have uh, downloads going on here, but uh, um, if you were to download anything, you'd, just, you'd see them come up here, PDFs or podcasts or whatever. Um, you'd, you'd see those. For instance, uh, if we go to the listen in MP3 right in the browser, right, just like that. Right, okay, or you can hold and download, save link. And it's starting the download right now. What you'll usually see is you'll see that little download icon up there, right? Letting you know that it's downloading something. And if you go here, it'll say it's downloading the podcast. Which totally, uh, uh, that nothing new there, right? That's nothing new for Gingerbread. But what's new is in downloads, you'll see it right here. And you can actually manage your downloads. You can cancel. You can clear the selection. You can uh, sort by time, sort by size on the download. Um, all kinds of cool stuff. So... Um, that's gingerbread. Oh, what's uh, what else is updated is the uh, the camera has been slightly updated. Um, settings are uh, accessible through that menu, right? You can scroll through all your settings, your um, you know your megapixel, super fine color settings, your uh, different kinds of scene modes. You can do your geolocation on off, your white balance, your flash mode, and uh, you select your camera. Which one do you want to use? The front camera or the back camera? That's pretty cool, right? And snap a pic real quick. Um, what else is cool? The music app 
is largely the same, actually. Never mind. Um, what I don't like is that there is no micro SD card slot, uh, so I can't just put my micro SD into this thing and get all my music. What's cool though is notice that Google gave us one of these, and uh, this is a uh, hot pot. This is basically the NFC sticker that businesses will put on the on their windows. So, that when, so when you have your Nexus One in your hand and you see a business with this in the window, you just bring this phone close to the decal to the sticker, and bam! Whoop! Oh, wait. It turned off. There you go. So you bring it close to the window, uh, bring it close to the sticker, the near field communication sticker, and wirelessly it'll just tell it'll the tag will tell the phone to bring up certain data. Could it could be a store promotion, it could be a video, it could be an advertisement, it could be like a sale that's going on right now. Let's see what Google wants us to see. Looks like it's a video. Oh, looks okay. So it's the Nexus S, S backstory, basically. Yes, and we just kind of dis so Google wants us to see what uh, what they're talking about with the Nexus S, and all we have to do is tap the phone close to the near field communications tag. Anyway, that's a quick little look at the software tour software of the uh, Google Nexus S. A quick little look at Gingerbread, of course, and uh, a mostly kind of a disappointing update given all the hype that we've seen. But there you go. That's Android 2.3 Gingerbread on the Nexus S.